Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dogmotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this really nice and refreshing opener in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start as always by creating a new composition which is going to be 1920 into 1080, 30 frames and 10 seconds. Let's rename this to main this is going to be our main composition then right off the bat i'm going to start by creating some shapes so to create that you can there are two ways to create it actually the first one is by creating a new solid and hit ok maybe i'll just make it the com size so just hit ctrl shift y to see the properties and just make it com size if it wasn't and the first way is by creating mask you know you can create mask and then animate the mask but this can be a little tedious task so the way i figured it out to be really cool and effective was by creating the shapes by linear white so to do that you can just delete the mask so hit m and delete the mask let's align this in the center like so so we have our first shape let's rename this to 01 and the thing that I'm going to do is add a transition that is called linear wipe. So let's add the transition, linear wipe, and then you can animate the transition completion. You can change the rotation, and you know, you can get the really cool shape. So it's really simple. So let's go to let's say around two seconds, and I'm going to set the transition completion to somewhere around let's keep it at five. And change the rotation to somewhere around let's keep it 200 Yep, that looks pretty good let's create a keyframe by heading on the stopwatch of both the properties go back in time at the very beginning and I'm gonna set this to all the way up to zero and this to somewhere let's say 150 let's see what we have um, that is not what we are going for maybe I'll make it around 250 and yep this actually looks pretty cool maybe i'll make it 240 yeah this looks pretty good right now so let's select the keyframes hit u so we can see all the keyframes select them and hit f9 to ease them go to graph editor and i'm, I'm just gonna drag it just like so so now we have something like that so let's color this up so to color it i'm gonna use a gradient map gradient ramp i'm sorry for that so let's type in gradient ramp and maybe I'll set the point to somewhere around there and this one to somewhere around there. Maybe right over here and something like that and you can change the color to whatever color that you want to go with. Maybe I'll go with something like a dark pink maybe something like that and this one to kind of a purple which looks pretty good actually. You can go with any color that you want to go with and I'm going to change the opacity to around 80%. Then what I can do is I can just duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D to duplicate it. Hit U so we can see the keyframes and you can change the you know property of the keyframe animation. So maybe I can make this to around 90% and change the rotation to anything that I want to go with. So maybe something like that, you know, pretty random. So maybe I'll just go with this, maybe 250. So now we have this really cool looking animation, but as you can see, the gradient is not looking that good. So what I can do is I can increase the RAM scatter to 20% and increase the blend to 50%. Maybe that's too much, 20%. Yep, that looks pretty good. And same with this one, 20 and 20. So now we have something like that. You can change the gradient, you know, a different position you can also swap the colors actually to make it look really cool Maybe something like that and as you can see it looks pretty good maybe the blend is too much I'll make it 10% this will be 10% as well so now we have something like that it looks really cool and it's really simple to create and basically I'm gonna do the same thing so you can create more and more shapes that you want to go with and create maybe four shapes so let's set this to around let's let's set this to 90 percent only and maybe i just rotate it so something like 
there maybe yep that looks pretty good let's make this 180 actually maybe let's make it 200 let's see or maybe increase this a bit and let's see what we can go with maybe i'll make this 85 and let's make this 250 and that's gonna give us a shape like that i want something like this make it 225 oh sorry for that hit control z make it 225 Yep, this is looking pretty good actually. See? And change the rotation actually to 260. So we have a different rotation on this and change the rotation as well of the second layer. Maybe around 260. So now we have something like that. You can see there's a little bit of difference but it makes it look really good. So there we go. We have something like that. That is just too much. It's, it's kind of an abstract effect you just need to figure out the right property you know we'll keep it somewhere around there looks pretty good let's create one more by hitting ctrl d hit u so we can see the keyframes i'm gonna set this to 90 and let's set this to around 230 maybe somewhere Let's see what looks good. Maybe something, I guess. We can find something, you know. Just play around. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. See? You can also swap the colors just to give it a little bit of different color, you know. Make it look a bit more random. And change the rotation as well. So, let's go to right over here. And change go right at the beginning actually and change this to 200 maybe let's see how it looks mm, yep that is looking pretty good actually I'm liking it yep so we are done with the basic animation so now what i can do is i can just select this right click and pre-comp this let's call this animation and it okay and i want you know to make this edges a bit sharper and to do that we can add an effect called bevel alpha let's add this you can see right at the back we get this really nice and sharp edges so you can just play around with the settings maybe i'll just rotate it like that you can see get this really nice and sharp edges maybe a bit more you can play around with the intensity make it look really wide maybe keep it a really subtle and play around with the thickness i'm gonna set this to somewhere around 1.5 i guess let me rotate it a bit just to see how it looks. And change the color to something like a red, a little bit red. And yep, that is actually looking pretty good. You can see. It's really optional if you want to add it, but you can just play around maybe 0.4. I said it's a 0.4 just to make it a little bit sharp. So there we go there we have our basic animation let's pretty quickly create a new solid so this is going to be our background for bg hit ok and add a four color gradient change this to something like maybe a dark pink color and turn this all to have a blue darker blue something like that just make all dark blue just place it in the position something like that just to give a little bit of nicer background, you know, kind of a thing. Increase the jitter amount to 20% and the blend to 150. So we get rid of all the color bendings. Let's bring this down. And now we have something like that. It looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll make it a bit darker. Something like that. Yep, that is looking pretty good actually. And let's add some glow to this animation. So we can add a glow let's set this to maybe around 90 percent maybe yep and this too increase the radius a lot maybe around 150 i guess and decrease the intensity to 0.6 should work good and that is looking pretty good you can see difference before and after glow works pretty good actually on this effect you can see 
yep that is looking pretty good and then you can just duplicate this layer and hit R to bring down the rotation properties and set this to maybe minus 80 180 actually so now we have something like that as you can see it's really simple to create nothing that difficult but the effect looks really nice refreshing and you know kind of fresh look to it so now you can go ahead and duplicate it just to make it a bit more you know cool i could say change the color so we can see it and it displays it a bit just like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a tint effect so let's add a tint effect hit ctrl c to copy it paste it on this one as well and what i can do is i can change the amount of tint to 60 percent this one as well and change the blending mode to let's say maybe a soft light yep that is doing pretty good and as you can see right off the bat if i just place this below our main animation let's see and you can see right off the bat really nice lines right over here which makes it look a bit more interesting so like that see looks pretty cool actually it's pretty optional if you want to add it you can add it if you don't it's still fine and you can see you can get a little bit of color bendings as well you can see and to face this you can just switch to 16 bit and to do that you can just hold alt and just click right over here and it's gonna switch to 16 bit pixels which is which is gonna help us to get rid of all the color bendings you can see it looks pretty good and then you can add anything that you want to add maybe you know kind of a logo or a text let's type in both motions for now you can type in anything that you want to go with and change the text to something like a semi bold let's align this in the center change this to around 80 yep that is looking pretty good and one effect that i'm gonna add uh, i got request i got this request for creating this effect so i'm gonna do that in this tutorial pretty quickly so i hope this helps you out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to animate and add an effect called tracking not an effect actually an animation property called tracking and i can just go right over here play around with my tracking and you can create this really cool effect so it's really simple so for now, I'm going to set this to zero. We are at the very beginning, maybe somewhere around there. Create a keyframe. Go to maybe three seconds and set this somewhere around there. Select it. Hit F9 to ease them. Go to graph data and just drag it just like that. So now we have something like that. And of course, we need to place it behind our animation compositions. That is the shapes. There we have it so let's preview it pretty quick you can see we have this really cool opener and one more thing that i could do is i can create a null object and pan it everything to this null and add a little bit of scale animation so i'm gonna set this to 100 for now go to maybe around four seconds and set this to 110 so now we have a little bit of scale animation which is going to make it look a bit more interesting as well you can see looks really really nice so it's a really simple effect but really helpful to create some really cool animation so i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative